Hey guys, welcome to US family team. Today's topic is dumping syndrome. This is a very uh, small topic. I will discuss very briefly. Uh, let me start with this. Uh, before starting, I will re I request you to subscribe to my channel. Okay. Uh, those who are subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing. Please like and comment. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm trying my level best to help you and uh, score more in your SLME examination okay so let me start with this okay seen in the malnourished who had a partial or complete gastrectomy uh, dumping syndrome is suspected in a person who has the symptoms of hypoglycemia okay and late dumping syndrome proven with an oral glucose tolerance test so this is briefly what I'm saying to you are the early dumping systematic symptoms desire to lie down this is very important palpitation fatigue faintness syncope diaphoresis headache flushing uh, early dumping abdominal symptoms epigastric fullness di uh, diarrhea nausea vomiting oh, blah 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 shakiness is very important hunger is very important uh, diarrhea is very important okay uh, lab test to be done glucose challenge test 50 gram of glucose is given okay so you need to give a 50 gram of uh, oral glucose uh, that's very important test for uh, dumping syndrome um, a positive result from a hydrogen bath test after ingestion of glucose is also 100% sensitive since this topic is not so much important I'm not talking in detail okay treatment small frequent meals acarobos octreotide can be given fluid intake during and with the meals is restricted this is very important dumping syndrome is nothing but we are dumping the uh, uh, what you call food um, uh, stuff from stomach to directly into the intestine so there will be huge food into the intestine right so when there is a huge food there is a that leads to the absorption of the food and hyperglycemia that hyperglycemia stimulates the pancreas to secrete more insulin and this more insulin goes and uh, what you call uh, goes and causes hypoglycemia so the patient will have hypoglycemic symptoms so very important uh, you need to remember avoiding liquids for at least half an hour after a meal is helpful that's it i'm done with this thank you so much for watching my video please do subscribe thank you thank you